Hello and welcome to the 15 day trading challenge trading FANG stocks. We're going to continue with lessons learned from day trading FANG. Please read the disclaimer to yourselves. Thank you. In our last video, we spoke about two lessons. Number one, wait at least 15 minutes to observe the market before trading. Number two, follow the market open strategy, which we discussed in quite detail. Today, we're going to discuss two more lessons. Number three, if bullish, buy a pullback and let profits run. Number four, look at the bigger time frame to see the current trend and find targets. Let's get started. We're going to start with look at the bigger time frame to see current trend and find targets first. That's number four, lesson number four. This is Apple. I want to show you how we find the targets for Apple. This is the four hour chart. What I've done is I've taken the Fibonacci tool and I run it from this swing high to this swing low to come up with targets. The first target met on Friday was 161.8% at 384.67, roughly 385. The next target after that is 2.272 at 398 and 2.41 at 400 or 400.98. 400 is also a big number target. Normally when a stock or any other market traded reaches a big number, it typically backs off initially. So that's a solid resistance area until broken. Now that we have the potential targets with 400 being the big number, let's move back to day trading FANG, lessons learned. Number three, if bullish, buy a pullback and let profits run. Today, the market gapped higher on Apple and we already have our higher targets. So we broke through this 385 level and the market is starting off very bullish. This is the one minute chart. And then we have a pullback so we can literally draw trend lines around this pullback. This is a flag pattern. And what happens with the flag pattern once we break through it, it's bullish. Here's another little mini consolidation pattern. It's actually a sideways pattern. So at either one of these points, this is considered bullish. We're still looking for higher levels, 398 being the first target, 400 being the next target. So let's just see what happens. Well, we have another pullback right over here. So these are all places to take positions as we consolidate and then break out. And especially this one here, we have a nice green candle higher, and then we pull back to the trend line before moving up again. This forms a nice triangle, A, B, C, D, E, nice descending triangle. Let me put the lines around this triangle. Now, very often when we have a triangle pattern, that's the final thrust in the move. And we measure the distance from the top of the apex to the bottom of the apex would be right here. That would be a move from the base of $2. And that would bring us up to almost 400. Let's see what happens. Actually, if we look at the exact distance here, this is from 399.50 to 397.25, $2.25 from the breakout point, that would be 399.75. And where did the market hit? 399.75. So these are basic day trading patterns that you can look at. And here we have some consolidation. We hit a nice target just short of the big number. That was a great target. And then look at this. The market started to come down. Great area for profit taking. Looking at the bigger time frame to seeing uh, the current trend, which is bullish, and finding the targets is a great first step to then day trading the patterns, looking for that ultimate target. And certainly this descending triangle, measuring the apex from top to bottom, nails that 399.75 target. Warren Buffett said, diversification is protection against ignorance. It makes little sense if you know what you are doing. 
I remember Warren Buffett saying this at one of the annual general meetings that I attended about 10 years ago in Ho Omaha. What he's saying is, if you're good at something, stick with that. If you make money in something, stick with that. You don't need to diversify into a whole bunch of stocks just be because you think diversification is protection. On that note, I want to invite you all to join the hashtag stock Wavy Tunnel Pro Discord channel to share trade ideas and learn from the pros. This is the link. Our next video is going to talk about the last three day trading lessons, and I'm going to let you know how we did from this challenge. Thanks for watching live. It was a real pleasure. Actually, it's a real pleasure working with Jeff. He's a great trader. So we welcome you to the Discord channel where Jeff and I will post our trades and hopefully you will share yours as well. See you in the hashtag stock room. You just need to click on that link or click on it below this video and you're in, you're in the channel. Thank you. Bye.